Good day everyone and welcome back to your online class for cookery. I would like to welcome you all for another set of lessons that we are going to discuss for today. I am your teacher, Mr. Manam Bernabe, your TVL trainer, will be with you for the next one hour. The next word that we have class is the word degrees. Degrease refers to the process of removing the fat from the surface of uh, sauce, which is a soup or a stew. This may be accomplished by using a spoon or ball buster to suck the fat off the surface. If time permits, other way to remove the fat is to chill the liquid so that the fat congeal at the surface, making it much easier to remove. Sometimes, uh, we are going to use some a clean cloth or white cloth then you tap it over the cooked product which is very greasy and then you, the white cloth will absorb the grease and that's the typical uh, step on how you're going to remove the grease. The next word that we have here on our list is we have here the word dissolve. Dissolve means the process of combining one ingredient with another form of solution to melt the or liquefy a solid ingredient such as chocolate, salt, or sugar. So, sa madaling salita, dissolve madali lang. You have two going to dissolve one solid um, ingredients to liquid ingredients. Like salt, you put it into water and then you stir it. So, that is already a process of dissolving. Next is the word dust. Dust or dusting refers to the process of slightly sprinkling a fine layer out of powder or granulated ingredients onto food. For example, a cake may be dusted with sugar, powdered sugar, or spices as a final decoration to add flavor. Dust can also refer to the process of dusting a pan with flour in preparation for baking. So the purpose of, of dusting class is to add flavor or sometimes it is used to avoid stickiness of the product from the pan. Like for example, if you are going to bake a cake, then the pan has already a little amount of butter. Then you dust it with flour so that during the uh, final product of the cake, the cake will not stick into the pan. So that's the purpose of our dusting method. Next is the word pear or paring from the word paring knife. Pear is to cut off a thin layer of skin on a food such as potatoes or apples with a paring knife or a vegetable paler. Next is the word poaching. Poaching to cook food gently in liquid just below the boiling point. Poaching produces a delicate flavor in foods while imparting some of the liquid's flavor to the ingredient being poached. So example of this is the poached egg. Kung baga, isipin natin, ano ba yung pinaka the best example in poaching egg is cooking the egg into uh, parang malasado type yung hindi luto yung uh, hindi pa lutong luto yung egg yolk sa ilalim so that is uh, using water the next word that we have class is the word roasting roasting is an example of dry heat method it is a slowly cooking process usually indirect diffused heat to cook its ingredients it is a dry heat cooking method where hot air surrounds the food and cook it is evenly on all sides at a temperature of at least 300 degrees Fahrenheit or in Celsius that is 150. The heat can also be derived from open a flame or oven or another heat source. So example of this is good example for roasting class we have seen in many malls is shawarma. So the meat of the beef was keep on turning over the heat then slice when it is cooked. So that is an example of roasting. Also, even yung uh, lichon manok is an example of roasting. 
that is being cooked over the charcoal in a hot grill. Thank you for staying with me, class. And our next word is the word shred. So shred is in cooking means to push food across or through a shredding sur surface to make long and narrow strips. Most vegetables can be shredded with a box grater, a hand grater, or a food processor. However, cabbage, lettuce, and other leafy greens can be easily shredded with a knife. Some cutting technique, this is called chiffonade. Thank you for listening, class. Our next word is the word soap. So the word soap means to immerse an item into a liquid for a period of time. Kumbaga, hinumulan. Sa bisaya, sa waray, hinumuran. The next word that we have, class, is the word trim. Trim refers to the excess meat scrap that had been cut from large pieces of meat and are too small to be sold individually. Sometimes in the fish, we need to trim the fish uh, on their uh, tail. On the meat, we also trim the pork like removing the fats. Then we purely cook the meat or the tenderloin. So that is trim. Our next word class is the word whip. So the whip class is the process of beating in ingredients vigorously to incorporate air, which makes the ingredients frothy. A utensil used for mixing food ingredients being prepared for baking or serving, a whip is a basically larger version of a wax. And it is followed also from the word wax. The word wax is a kitchen instrument manufactured with a series of thin metal wires each form into a loop so both ends of the wires attach to the handle the loops which are placed in slightly different direction from each other to form a round ball shape so that is west and the last word that we have here is the word this so this is a verb to cease and also word used to describe the outermost skin layer of citrus fruits such as oranges, lemons, and limes. The colored part of the skin contains natural oils that provide aroma and flavor. Shavings of the skin are added to virus dishes to intensify the required citrus flavors. So this class is simply rubbing um, the skin of the fruits. Then we're going to get the fine uh, skin of the orange or lemon that is being used to add more aroma of our dishes or baked products. That's it for today class and thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for staying with me. I am very happy to be with you. And please do not forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, presentation.tv, for you to be updated in every time that I'm going to upload a new lesson video. This has been your teacher, Mr. Madam Bernabe, signing off.